Hey you. Hey Dwerg, up and up. It's me. <laughs> you don't look happy to see me, man. <laughs> Um, you're upset because I called you a dork? They've always called you dork. You've made my little brother's best friend since forever. I've seen all the phases that you guys have gone through, from whiny brats in school all the way to whiny brats in college. To me, you'll always be a dork. That is a good question. Um, <laughs> why am I here? Um, you, well, you know, yeah, you always hung out at our place with my brother practically every weekend, but it's actually been a while since you've been over and I've seen you. No, I know you've been busy at work, especially since you got that project you wanted. So, anyways, my brother is hanging out with his girlfriend tonight, and I don't want to bear witness to those lovey dovey shenanigans, especially on a Friday night, to remind me of how single I am. He mentioned that you weren't working this weekend, and you were just going to stay home alone tonight, so I thought I would come over and hang out with you and finally see a new place. Here, that's a late housewarming gift. You still like red wine, right? I know it's actually been a few years since you moved in, which is why I said it was late. Oh, you know, it's your fault, actually. I didn't really have a reason to visit you here since you practically lived in our house. Don't even try to deny it. We literally have a section of our pantry reserved just for you, since you're such a picky eater. <laughs> Aww. Your place is actually not what I expected. To be fair, my expectation of your apartment was based on the place that you stayed at while you were in college. You had anime posters and those anime figurines they used to collect and display everywhere. But this looks like a proper bachelor pad. You have throw pillows! I don't think you even knew what throw pillows were. Hey, stop! Don't throw them at me! God, you're so immature. Oh, here's some surprise. This place looks great! And it was decorated by you. You heard the same guy who dresses like a Power Ranger. Don't give me that look. When you wear an outfit with all the same colors, you definitely look like a Power Ranger. I cannot be the first person who told you this. I didn't say anything before because I thought you looked cute, but that's not the point. If you don't want to look like a Power Ranger, maybe try wearing something different, or even different shades and tints of the same color. Oh. Your place is really neat and tidy. The only time my brother bothers to clean up is when his girlfriend's coming over. You're not expecting anyone, right? I'm not interrupting? Okay, good. Cause that's what I was worried about. Uh, I was worried that we wouldn't be able to hang out tonight. Unless you don't want to hang out with me. Great! <laughs> I was thinking we can order pizza from our favorite place. Whatever pizza you want, and it'll be my treat. And then we can spend 30 minutes trying to pick a movie, debating and arguing, and then we can settle on something that we've already seen. 
all the while enjoying some wine, and it would be just like a few years ago when we were in college. The only difference being that wine is more expensive now. There's the good player. Being proactive by pouring the wine without me having to even ask. Wait, don't make that face. You don't like it when I call you Dor? And now you don't like it when I call you a good boy? What do you want me to call you? Calling you by your name is boring. <laughs> What if I called you... Senpair? I remember how embarrassed I used to get when my friends tried calling it up because they saw the anime meme. <laughs> Did you blush? Senpair? Oh my god, look at how red your face is. <laughs> your face is so red. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. <clears throat> okay, okay. Fine, fine. I'll stop. Sorry. It was just nice seeing you flustered after so long. He used to be so quiet and respectful, and then he became this moody teenager, and all he did was fight after that. Wait, slow down. How is it my fault that we always fought? Because I'm mean? <laughs> How was I mean to you? Name one time that I was mean. Wait, hold on. I said one time. I get it. You really had that list locked and ready to go. What? Don't be weird. Yes, you're being weird. How could you say I liked it when I was being mean to you or when we were fighting? Oh. Because it was better than me just ignoring you? Mm. I'm sorry about that. High school was tough, and I ended up taking it out on you for some reason, just by pretending that you didn't exist. I don't even know why I did it. Enough about that. Let's talk about something happier, like what pizza we're going to order. Seriously? Hawaiian pizza? When did you start eating pineapples on your pizza? Haha, <laughs> very funny. You can't even keep a straight face. You just said that because you know I hate it. Funny guy. And just for that, you just lost your pizza selection privileges. And we're getting a meat lover's pizza. Wipe that smile off your face. I know it's your favorite as well. Okay, order placed. That should be 20 to 30 minutes. Thank you. I'm surprised you have such nice wine glasses. I was half expecting to drink wine from a disposable plastic cup. Cheers. You probably bring all the ladies back here, wine them and dye them. What's up that look? I'm not teasing you now. You're a great guy. You're also kind of cute when you don't speak. You have a great job, and you probably have girls asking you out all the time. You're shy when you talk to girls? I mean, I've never seen you talk to girls. Not that I'm stalking you or anything. It's a small town, okay? You've never had any problems talking to me, and I'm a girl. Oh wait. Why don't I count as a girl? What makes me different? Wait, I'm really interested to know why you consider me different to other girls. 
Because I'm your best friend's sister? And that makes sense, I suppose? Oh my god, another gloss, please. I'm sorry. Did you just cut off the wine that I bought you as a gift? Fine. Yes. I remember that night. It was my graduation party, after all. You can stop regaling me with the tale of that night. I know I overdid it, but I was just so relieved after I failed the first time. It was a fun night, and again, I'm sorry that I was a total bitch to you when you were just trying to give water to me. I shouldn't have poured it on you, drunk me, thought it was hilarious. And despite that, you still stuck by me when I got sick from mixing Jaeger and vodka and nursing for the worst hangover that I've ever had. So, what movie should we watch? How dare you besmirch my good name by accusing me of trying to change a topic because you brought up an embarrassing story. I just want to decide what we're going to watch before the piece that gets here. Oh, I think hell just froze over. You're willingly giving me the remote? Oh, because I'm the guest? I see what you're trying to do. Trying to set some bogus precedent so that when we go back to hang out at my place... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Never mind. Let's just see what you have here. Nothing's wrong. I'm fine. You have an app for every streaming service. Well, at least that gives us some variety. I know. Let's see what you've been watching. Probably some dirty stuff, right? Let's see. Enemy superhero movies. More anime. More superhero movies. And even more anime? Wait, this show. This is the one I recommended to you. Wait. Did you watch it? All six seasons? Wait, you've only finished five? Why? Oh, yeah. I get work being hectic. It's like the busy season never ends sometimes. I know what we're watching tonight. We're gonna watch season six. All of it. Because we're gonna binge the entire thing. 13 episodes sounds like a lot, but once we're into it, it'll just fly by. Um, you're worried about me driving home so late after? Mm. Let's see. A day? A day? That sounds nice. We can find a day that we're both free, and then we can binge. Since you've shut down my idea and hurt my feelings, I think we should watch a horror movie, unless you're scared. The dork doth protest too much, me thinks. Just admit that you're scared, and we can watch something else. You're not afraid? Come on, my brother and I loved watching horror movies growing up, and you were always right with us on the couch pretending to watch. My brother and I loved watching horror movies growing up. And you were always right with us on the couch pretending to watch. I don't think my brother ever noticed. He was so engrossed that he never noticed anything else. Whenever the movie started getting scary, you would always pretend to be watching, but your eyes would be looking away from the screen. And then you would cover your face and try to peek through your fingers to see if the scary part was in it. No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it wasn't specifically watching you no that would be that would be weird okay as the eldest in the room i was just watching over the two of you and um okay that's a lie i don't know why i'm lying to you i don't know why i'm lying to you now or wasting the time that we have left like this i was watching you i was i always thought it was cute I always thought it was so cute that you would try and brave it just so that you can spend time with us. 
The truth is, <laughs> I'm really upset with you. I really am. I tried to come over here tonight and pretend that everything is fine so that we can reminisce about the past to remind you that we did have fun together. But I can't. How could you be leaving? How could you relocate halfway across the country and not tell me? I had to find out from my brother. I get that he's your best friend, but we've also known each other for so long, I thought at least we were friends. It hurts finding out secondhand like that. I came over because I wanted to spend time with you before you left, but you still don't even think I'm worth telling, and now you're acting like it's nothing. Why am I upset? Why am I so upset? How would you feel if the person that you love was just leaving and didn't even think that you were worth the effort to tell? You could have sent me a text or something or a sign that you at least acknowledge my existence. And yes, I said I love you. I've had a crush on you since high school and that time I ignored you for a few months, that was because my friends are teasing me because they guessed that I liked you. So I thought, you know, if I just stopped talking to you, they would stop teasing me and I would get over you. And that ended up failing and backfiring so miserably because all it did was make me miss you and like you more. And I should just go. Please don't grab my hand like that. Your hand is so soft and warm. Why does it matter when I realize that I love you? Fine. If it's that important, that night at my graduation party, during and after that party, when I was at my worst, you took care of me. And I just saw you in a different light. All that I could think about was, I want this person in my life, always. I know I've been a bitch about it, but I was so happy whenever you'd come over, and I was always so jealous when I've ever hugged all of your time. I never said anything because I was just scared I'd drive you away. I'm still so scared, but since you're leaving anyways, <laughs> there's no point. No, don't, don't patronize me. Don't do that. Don't lie to my face to make me feel better about myself. You don't love me. You don't love... But what about your high school prom? I remember it. I remember that bitch who broke up with you the day after because she wanted to... Never mind. I remember my brother was grounded for getting drunk and you were just wallowing in self-pity by yourself. And we hung out. But we didn't really do much. We just killed time at that park. I told you that? I don't remember saying that, but it does sound like something I would say about love. I don't understand if you're trying to say that I should take my own advice, then... Oh. Oh. That's when you realized you loved me. You've been in love with me since then? Why didn't you say anything? You were scared too? You've loved me for so long. Not that this is a competition, but I guess you did fall for me first, so I would win if it was. And if you love me, why didn't you say anything about leaving? A month? Wait, what's a month? Oh my god. You're only leaving for a month for your project and then you're back? Oh my god. My brother is such an asshole. He made me believe that you're leaving for good. He showed me your texts and pictures of where you're going to be staying. God, he played me like a fiddle. Do you think he did it on purpose to get me to tell you how I really feel? <laughs> Never mind. I think we might be giving him a bit too much credit. So, what now? Girlfriend? Me as your girlfriend? I actually like the sound of that. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I misread the situation? I felt that. Mm, you can 
last well for an entire week. Then I think I can help you improve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nice. Maybe we could just do this tonight. Mm. <laughs> Looks like the piece was here earlier. Some piece of wine and kissing her girlfriend. How does that sound? <laughs> I'll take that goofy smile as if you like the idea. <laughs>